The billboard for this year's Oscars makes the statue look like a work in progress. An ironic choice, perhaps, because when it comes to the competition, critics say there's much work to be done. Among the 20 acting nominations is just one person of color. You can't hide your emotions. And after the success of films such as The Farewell, These are my coworkers. Jobs, please! Hustlers. No one makes their own way, least of all a woman. And Little Women, all the five Best Director nominees are male. Well, as a woman, as a Latina, yeah. you know, I'm disappointed, um, obviously. And I would like to see Jennifer Lopez in there as well. For you know, She was just as good as any of the other supporting actor nominees. Since Oscars So White started trending in 2015, the Academy has taken action. But after all those years and thousands of new members, people who vote are mostly white and mostly male. If you're a guy who's 35 and white, you're going to hire another guy that looks, because you feel comfortable around people who look like you. That has your attention, doesn't it? And even for those new members, there are challenges. I'm in the Academy. It's very hard to vote. There's a, uh, and it's expensive to be in the Academy. It's not a free thing to do. But this former Academy executive says the issue of diversity goes beyond the award show. The problem if you're issue is diversity, the issue is the movies aren't diverse enough, not the Academy is. Right. As far as the show goes, the Oscars is trying to compensate by inviting presenters that are certainly more diverse and female than the nominees. And while they won't be taking home any trophies, the audience has already voted with its dollars, making movies that reflect the changing face of America box office winners. Eli Glasser, CBC News, Los Angeles.